welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a review on the LA Splash Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. That is a lot to say at once. I've been looking for some new liquid lipsticks to try out since that whole Lime Crime Scandal deal. And if you don't know about the Lime Crime Scandal, you can look it up on the interwebs. Just type it in and I'm sure it'll pop up or a million things will pop up. I saw these on Instagram. I believe I saw this one of the blue ones. And I was like, girl, what is that color and brand? And I need it in my life. So I checked out the website, fell in love, ordered it. Now I'm showing you some swatches and I'm doing a little bit of a review slash comparison to Lime Crime. I only have a couple of Lime Crime liquid lipsticks that would even be comparable to these, but I'm gonna put them side by side so you guys can see. Okay, so I ordered six of them and four of them are from the the Lip Couture line and two of them are from the Smitten Lip Tint line. So anyways, I'm going to start with the Lip Couture ones. These have the gold top and just the clear bottom and it says Lip Couture and LA Splash Cosmetics in gold. And this one is in Vindictive. This color is so unique in my opinion. If you've seen a color like this, you can tell me, but I just love this color. So it's Vindictive. The one thing I really like about the Lip Couture ones is they have the this different wand that's almost flat and angled almost angled on one side and then flat on the other I really like that I didn't think I would but I notice I get more of a precise application with this and I really like that wand I don't know okay this one is a really pretty rose color it is called Latte Confession. This is another one of my favorites of this line. I've heard it is compared to Riot by Lime Crime. I don't have Riot by Lime Crime, so I can't compare the swatches side by side like I can on the ones coming up. But I really, really love this color. 90s inspired lip color that I just love. And I really like how these apply. They're really moussey instead of being really liquidy like the Lime Crime and then drying really quickly and feeling really drying on the lips. These do not feel drying on the lips, but they last forever. And again, this one is called Latte Confession and I have a confession to make. I'm obsessed with this. That was really cheesy, but <laughs> whatever. These two are the ones that I have swatches side by side with the Lime Crime liquid lipsticks. So this one is called Untamed. This one reminds me a lot of Salem, which is a color that I wore a lot in the fall. And actually it's one of my favorite lip colors of all time. And this is super comparable to that. Like it's that brownish red color. I'm really obsessed with that. It has this applicator, which I like better than the Lime Crime one. So I do prefer this one. So the next one I'm gonna mention is the color Ghoulish. This is a grazy grayish color grayish it's that gray beige color it's actually extremely comparable to cashmere so if you're looking for a grayish type of color this is a really great color again stays on great it doesn't you know i don't know it's just that moussey texture of it really it makes for a really even application and i'm really into that so i don't know I so of course i had to get some crazy colors and I wanted to try the other line they have which is the smitten lip tint I got this dark blue one called serious serious is what it's called and it is a navy it's actually the one I'm wearing right now it's a navy blue color which I'm obsessed with I love navy blue lipsticks actually I have a Kat Von D one named Poe I think it's called and I really love it. I just don't love that it does tend to be really, really drying. And these, like, this is after I've just swatched every single one of those freaking lipsticks. My lips should feel like a wrinkled, hot, desert mess. And it's really not. They don't feel that drying. They don't feel like my lips are, like, crinkled up. I'm really impressed with them. So this one does have the applicator similar to the Lime Crime applicator is just the little nub guy. And that's fine by me, I'm used to that. I think most liquid lipsticks have that little nub thing, I guess, whatever you wanna call it. 
And then the last one I have here is this green one. It is named N Nagini, 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 Martini, whatever. I think it's Nagini, Nagini. It's one of the two. I can't really pronounce it, but it's green and it's awesome and I really love it. I have the green lipstick from Lime Crime. I didn't even swatch them side by side because they're not even close to the same thing. This is completely opaque. The lipstick, the green lipstick from Lime Crime takes several layers to build up to that green color and, and then it just kind of wipes off easily and whatnot. So I would say both of these products are freaking awesome. This company is freaking awesome and I will be ordering from them again and again and again. I'll make sure I link all of these products in the description box including the lip liners I use with some of these products. Also, if you have any questions regarding any of these products, just let me know in the comments box. You know I love talking to you, so I will, and then yeah, it'll be awesome. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.